in approaching the system, the composer has three fundamental tasks to perform. The three tasks are composing the score material, the second task involves designing the palette of timbres or the instruments that the composer will use in the score. And the third task is the performance of the material that's been composed. The performance program that we have is called Conduct. It drives its name because it allows you to conduct or perform scores that have been pre-composed using the techniques we've already seen. It's an important program because it demonstrates one key thing. The concept of downward compatibility in computer graphics rather than upward compatibility. Here we're using a straight ASCII alphanumeric display but it's coupled with a tablet in such a way that we can make use of several concepts which we've already seen with a sophisticated graphics terminal. I'll demonstrate this. The display has a moving cursor which tracks the position of the cursor on the tablet. So bottom left hand corner, bottom left hand corner. Now the information which is displayed on the terminal is in essence the operating console of the instrument. There are a series of eight scores which, whose information is set out in rows. And for each row, I have a number of parameters which I can affect in real time. Let's take score one and go to the particular control called on-off. By pointing at the on-off switch and depressing the cursor button number one, I can hear the score. The score plays once and then switches off. By moving to the next column for that score, I'll turn the cycle mode on, which will result in the score repeating once it's begun. We can now look at the other parameters. For example, working right to left, we have the parameter called richness. This is the richness of the spectrum. If I point to that parameter, I can type a value, let's say the value 20, and the spectrum of the sound will be adjusted to be increasingly rich. Rather than typing, however, I have other techniques which I can use to change the value. One of the key ones is the technique of dragging. In essence, every number on the display is a graphic potentiometer exactly of the same type as the graphic potentiometer seen in previous programs. That is, I point to the value, depress the Z button, and I can pull the value down. As you can hear it get clearer, or I can push it up. Functionally, we have a graphic potentiometer, although the output graphics are different, or they adapt to the fact I only have an alphanumeric display.